Okay, I'm going to do a quick video here of this 1965 Triumph TR6SR. Um, this is a, a numbers matching motorcycle, frame and engine numbers. Um, this bike went through a restoration, I believe, in 2011. And when the restoration was done, uh, that included a, uh, of course, uh, internals in the lower end and a new top end. Um, everything's good and fresh. Everything's nice and clean and pretty. Um, bike runs and rides fantastic. Um, rebuilt uh, Amol monoblock carburetor. As you can see, the paint's beautiful as well. Went back to the original butterscotch and cream two-tone with the, uh, the blue stripes. The paint's really pretty. Garden gate badges, uh, tank rack. Uh, this is a um, probably a 67 model seat. This is an original style seat, uh, not a reproduction. Still got the old logo kind of worn off on the back. Really a beautiful motorcycle. The thing I like about this bike is that uh, not a lot of things were replaced. A lot of the original equipment was kept on it. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, the badges, the uh, tank rack, the uh, chrome trim down the center of the tank, the gas cap, um, you know, a lot of different little, well, the shocks, for instance, there's some, there's some rust on the back side of the shocks uh, where the chrome had gone bad. But, uh, you know, anybody can buy new parts, uh, but it's kind of neat to maintain the original, as many original parts as you can. Uh, got some chrome flaking on the clutch lever. This is a four-speed model. Uh, shifts great. Clutch works great. Got a little bit of rash on the headlight uh, ring. A couple little dings right there. Bike's never been laid over. Uh, I'll bet that ring just came off at some point in time. New tires. Um, of course, new tubes. Uh, Got a little blemish there on the pipe. Just going to try to go over everything uh, with you so there's there's no surprises. It's a beautiful motorcycle. Look at the paint again. Everything works. High beam, low beam, brake light, tail light, uh, horn. This bike probably has maybe 75 miles on it since it was, uh, since it was all completely gone through on the top end and, and lower end. Um, I did notice riding yesterday that uh, it does have some oil leaks. Uh, mainly, I can see some oil a little bit around the head gasket uh, on both sides, uh, and it'll make its way down, you know, and kind of have a little bit of a spot right down in the valley. It'll leave a spot on a garage floor about the size of a quarter. Um, it's probably, uh, you know, being that it's in the break-in phase, you'll probably need to go around and retorque head bolts. Uh, you know, that's a possibility. Uh, but it needs to be ridden a lot more. Still got the uh, the old Triumph gauges. The bike itself, uh, prior to the engine rebuild and the restoration, has 18,800 miles on it. Uh, ammeter works. Um, but this is going to be an ice cold start. I mean, I have I just rolled it out of the garage, so uh, we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna turn the gas on. We're gonna prime this carburetor a little bit. we get some gas coming out. There we go. And your ignition key is obviously over here on the old Triumphs. Let's see if we can get her to start. First kick every time. A little cold nature today. Right. 
gonna be warmed up enough now, we'll put some idler down just a little bit. Anyway, there's the 650 Triumph. Enjoy.